So a viewer, Eric from Cali, reached out via the comments in the review and install video of this giraffe stainless steel hose reel and wondering, how's it holding up? Well, Eric, look for yourself. It's holding up actually really well. The stainless steel construction means that it's clean, no stains, no rust, looks almost exactly like it was the day I installed it. The only exceptions would be this plastic bit here because it's plastic and it fades with the sun. And the other part would be this crank arm back over here that is painted aluminum and that paint has faded. The nylon components, mainly this right here, this screw device, that's still black because of the nylon. And the same goes for the nylon on the handle, both still nice and black and looking good. Now the coolest feature, and it was one that I mentioned in the original video, I was like, I don't know the longevity of this, but is this belt right here that drives this nylon shaft to move this back and forth as you're unwinding or winding the hose. And I was curious about the longevity of that belt, but it's holding up, it's discolored just a little bit. It's a brownish shade now, but considering that my house faces southwest and gets a full afternoon beating every single day, it's held up and performed beautifully. And there was that feature in action as I was unwinding the hose. The action also goes exactly the same when reeling the hose. It works beautifully. Now, there is one flaw with this though. And it's not really a design flaw, it's more attributed as a user's flaw, and that's how you hold this handle over here. And let me demonstrate that real quick. So we're gonna start by pulling some hose back out. Now look right here, this is the end cap. This holds this nylon on. And when you put it together, it just screws in. What can happen sometimes, and when you're holding the handle, is if you have big meaty paws, like I do, and this section here is over that end cap, what's going to happen is it starts unscrewing. That's 100% operator mistake, honestly, but you could improve the design by shrinking the size of this down and recessing it into the cap. That's the only negative I have with this reel, and it was a problem that I created. So I can't really ding it for that, but there is a way to improve upon it. So to not have that issue, you simply don't grab it by your whole meaty paw. Just use like two or three fingers. So there you go, Eric. I hope that answers your question. It still looks almost exactly the same as it did over a year ago when I installed it. Stainless steel looks great. Nylon looks great. The only fading is on some plastic and painted bits, and that's honestly to be expected after a year in the elements. The main feature, that auto guiding like hose guide where it auto feeds and goes back and forth, works like it did the day I got it. The belt is still in fantastic shape. The only thing was that little screw on the end of the handle that my fat hands caused to come off when I'm winding it up. So with that, this is a fantastic hose reel that I would recommend to anyone. So if you're interested in it, there's two links down below. There's an affiliate link where I'll get a small commission, but then if that's not really your jam or your whatever you like, there's a non-affiliate link as well. So you do you on that one. I'll let you all decide. It's your money. So there we have it for a one year wrap up on that draft stainless steel hose reel with that. Oh, you can tell behind me things are changing in the backyard and I'm getting a lot done. That's why there's been no videos. I've been focused on working and getting things done because not everyone wants to watch you paint a fence. So 
Until next time, where I'm getting more work done. It's Mike, Real Dad. We'll see you.